Guys, there is a serious question that I need to ask you and I need you to answer honestly. What is a burrito and a taco? Are burritos and tacos sandwiches? Or is a taco a taco and a burrito is a burrito? Let me know in the comments below. But the reason why I bring this up is because recently I found an article saying that a judge in Indiana claims that tacos and burritos are in fact sandwiches. Not only that, they are Mexican sandwiches, apparently. <laughs> You're gonna want to check this one out. You're not gonna want to miss this. It's crazy, dude. So, okay. <laughs> Indiana, Indiana judge rules tacos and burritos are in fact sandwiches. The ruling stemmed from a legal battle between a developer with plans to open a Mexican restaurant and a, and a local zoning commission. So you might be asking like, what the heck brought this judge to think that, you know, that tacos and burritos are, are sandwiches? Because they are obviously not. How can you say that this is the same thing as this? Obviously they're completely different. <laughs> How can you say that the burrito is the same thing as a fucking sandwich? No! Burrito is a burrito, taco is a taco, and a sandwich is a fucking sandwich. They are three separate, completely different things. Are tacos and burrito sandwiches a judge in Indiana thinks so? The ruling stems from a legal battle that started in 2022. So it's been going on for two years, the legal battle. What the? <laughs> and the, when Martin Quintana, I don't know how to spell I don't know how to pronounce that. A developer unveiled plans to open his restaurant, the famous Taco Mexican Grill. That sounds pretty good. I, I would go there. That sounds really good, guys. On a strip mall in Fort Wayne, Indiana. Okay, so he's just he's just a guy. He just wants to open a taco shop with burritos and tacos, a Mexican style grill. You know, that sounds really good. I'd love to have I'd love to try that. I like that kind of food. I would I mean I love Chipotle and that kind of stuff too. So the Allen County Planning Commission rejected his bid to open the eatery, citing a written commitment that Quintana had accepted. Okay, so apparently he accepted a written commitment, which legally te technically legally binds him to, you know follow that commitment obviously according to the agreement with a local condo association oh here we go here we go it's a condominium uh trying to make money here we go only <laughs> only alcohol free restaurants okay that's fine that that did not allow outdoor seating okay so i can understand alcohol free restaurants and did not and no outdoor seating but they they say only sold made to order or subway style sandwiches we're allowed to open at the location. So you're telling me that <laughs> in order to open a restaurant in this condominium, this condo area, you have to sell, you have to sell Subway style sandwiches? That just doesn't make any sense. Well, <laughs> I don't understand the logic. Well, I mean, is it, is it, a, is it gonna like blow up? Is it gonna destroy the, the complex by making a fucking taco? on the grill or grill in a burrito or whatever is that is that going to ruin the condominium or something how is that going to how is that going to affect anything i don't understand the agreement was put in place to keep some national f fast food chains from opening at the strip mall according to court documents obtained by nbc affiliate so i can kind of understand that because like uh if you have like a complex in in a bunch of restaurants around this complex and then you have say let's say mcdonald's just come in McDonald's is super fucking popular. So obviously everybody's gonna flock to McDonald's and nobody's gonna go to any other restaurant because McDonald's is cheap and it's fast and it tastes good. So I can understand that. Man, I can't believe this though. After two years of legal battles, the judge, Craig Bobbe, Bobby Bobbe, from Allen County Superior Court ruled that Quintana's original plans would be permissible based on the original commitment. So basically he's, he's getting the okay to do it. But the only way that he could get the okay to open the restaurant is that if they admitted that the tacos and burritos were sandwiches. <laughs> In his opinion, the judge here ruled that famous taco restaurant is permissible under the terms of the original written commitment and agreeing with Quintana that tacos and burritos are Mexican style sandwiches and the, and the original a written commitment does not restrict potential restaurants to only American cuisine style sandwiches. So they can appeal the ruling with this. I just can't understand like how, how like this stupid ass case would take two years. It takes fucking two years to decide if a taco and a burrito are as a sandwich. 
and they obviously they ended up like oh okay we gotta we gotta do the fine print thing where like oh we gotta you can open up the restaurant that if you admit that <laughs> tacos and burritos are mexican style sandwiches okay guys i guess this is a fucking sandwich this is also a fucking sandwich <laughs> I mean, what the fuck jesus christ dude you can't just claim that a taco and a burrito are a, a sandwich because a taco is, is basically usually made out of corn tortilla or flour tortilla and same and a burrito is made with flour tortilla and that is not what a sandwich is made out of a sandwich is made out of bread white bread wheat bread whatever the fuck bread it's not made out of a tortilla it's not made out of anything like that okay a sandwich is a sandwich a burrito is a burrito and a taco is a taco fight me if you're going to Chipotle, you're not going to, like, if you're going to Chipotle, for example, you're not going to Chipotle to order a fucking sandwich. <laughs> you're going to Chipotle to order a fucking burrito or a taco or a quesadilla or whatever the heck. I uh, mean, I wouldn't be surprised. Speaking of that, I wouldn't be surprised if they tried to say that a quesadilla was a sandwich. <laughs> that would just be outrageous, okay? That's like, okay, that's just getting rid of the whole purpose of Taco Bell. Like, Taco Bell is just sandwich bell. There's no, there's no, uh... There's no difference there. It's just, it's a sandwich restaurant. It's no longer Taco Bell. Which just, it's, it's just ridiculous. And it just blows my mind that this would take two years to figure out. It's like, dude, just let the guy run the restaurant. What the hell is wrong with the condominium though? I don't understand. Like, what is wrong with the condominium where they, what is going on in their, their idiotic brain of theirs with very, whatever the few brain cells they have left. That they were like, oh, we can't, I mean, we can't have you put a restaurant in our complex unless you say, unless you make Subway style sandwiches. What? If you want Subway style sandwiches, just get a fucking Subway, okay? This is why these types of restaurants exist. A Subway is for Subway style sandwiches. Chipotle is for tacos, burritos, quesadillas. Taco Bell is for tacos, burritos, whatever. Don't even get me started with, with Burger King, McDonald's, Wendy's, because a burger is not a sandwich. A burger is a burger. Fight me. A burger is a burger, not a sandwich. A sandwich is a sandwich is like a club sandwich, like or like a tuna melt. Okay, it has bread, it has lettuce, tomato, onion, whatever, meat, cheese, mayo, mustard, ketchup. I don't know, whatever you like. Also, a hot dog is a hot dog. A hot dog is not a sandwich. Okay, we have these separations for a reason, guys. A hot dog has to be a hot dog, or else it's not a hot dog. A sandwich is a sandwich. That's all there is to it. It's just not. It's non-negotiable. The Indiana judge rules that tacos and burritos are in fact sandwiches. It's just a fucking idiot. <laughs> Why would you be wasting the resources of the law to do this instead of like catch like like an actual bad or like to do like actual bad guys, you know, like <laughs> what? The? it doesn't make sense, man. Like, just let the guy have the just let the guy have his restaurant. I mean, obviously, in the end, they, they let him have the, the restaurant, but it was just such a hassle for the guy. I mean, imagine you're just trying to open up the restaurant. It takes fucking two years because you can't you can't have the, the people say that uh, a, uh, a, a taco is not a sandwich. It has to be a sandwich. <laughs> I mean, in that case, I if I was the guy, I would have just conceded and say, yep, a taco and a burrito are sandwiches. I would have just said it off the bat just to get, you know, just to get get them off my back, you know. Anyway, I just wanted to show you guys this. Uh, just came up in my feed and I just saw I saw the title and I was like, whoa, this is this is we got to click on this. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to smash the like button and hit subscribe. Also, check out my Twitch in the links in the description below. Let's get to a thousand subscribers. We're almost there, guys. 938 boys. Come on. I want I want you to share it with everybody. Share it with all your family members, your friends. I want all those grandmas. I want all those grandpas subscribing to me. Get them all. I want them all. Anyway, see you guys later. Peace.